All right, my friends, how are we? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Alice Springs, Australia. Um, I hope you're all doing well. I've just finished a day of work and I'm sitting down to have some fun. That's what this is about. It's to reconnect. It is to bring some content to the channel, of course. It's not about money. It's not about views because I'll get neither. All right. <laughs> I'm coming to terms with the fact that this YouTube channel is all about fun for me now. It's all about connecting with the, the community that I've built. I don't expect the community to really grow that much bigger than what it is. Uh, unless I find something like this rugby player reacts type thing, if, unless I really fucking use my brain, right? Do some research and think, what could the next big thing be? You know, it's not going to be reactions. But it could be something. If you've got any ideas, please hit me up down in the comment section below. But today's video is titled Rugby Player Reacts to... Actually, let's, let me just get his name um, just quickly. Jackson Smith and Jigba. Jackson Smith and Jigba, wide receiver number 45 of a class of about 60 in this year's NFL scouting combine. And, um, well, he must be one of the best because we've got a, an individual video focusing just on him. So this is Jackson Smith and Jigba, my first look at him. Um, let's, let's see what he's all about. Overall, you would get the ninth pick. You would get their second round pick, which is pick 39. Did you see that change of speed there? He saw the ball. You know, he's sort of bounding away. He sees the ball, thinks, oh shit, I've got to try and get this. And that he does. I mean, that, yeah, he's, he's swift. Here's Jackson Smith. I mean, all, all you want to see is, is five out of five. A remarkable the ball Rose Bowl game. game. Let's, let's get into some tape here with Jackson Smith and Jigba. Jackson Polish Smith and Jigba. He's going to be right. blazing the slide. Bang off the right. The next catches level. it. Just breaks one. To use breaks two. Set up breaks defenders. three. Create separation. Again, he's going to be quick. I was going to say, he wasn't going to go to the house, was he? And fast. Not going to just blow you away with his vertical speed. He's fast enough. There's All right, across the middle of the field. What's he going to do Utah here? In that Rose Bowl, you'll see a lot of that. Just really comfortable working in the Bang middle of the field. Bang off the right. Nice he's move. Tough. Takes it he to the house. Those combat catches if necessary. And then tracks the ball. Here he is making a difficult Willie Mays catch over the shoulder. Man, that's, that's not difficult. That's impossible. He Nicely caught everything that there. night. And he makes it look no easy. answer for him whatsoever. A lot of that was against Clark Phillips in that game too, who's who's a good corner we saw here. But I, he's okay. So he's from Ohio State. Why didn't I see that? Why did I not see that before? Sorry, apologies. Um, these were the three wide receivers. All right. So Wilson and Olave were in last year's combine. Smith and Jigba is in this year's combine, and their stats. I'm assuming they they've got this graphic up there because they're quite similar. Um, you know, between five eleven and and six one between 183 and 196 uh, vertical jump pretty much the same and, and a broad jump yeah pretty much identical there you go Jackson Smith and Jigba I wonder what sort of role he played last year behind these other two in fact let's look that up you're telling me he doesn't have a Wikipedia oh my bad it's Jackson with an X there he is Six foot even, 198 pounds, played at Ohio State his, his entire college football career. Seven games in 2020, none starting. 2021 was his, his breakout year. His, I mean, 13 games played, 13 games started. 1,606 receiving yards and nine receiving touchdowns. Now, what happened in 2022? Why did he only play three games? And why did he not go to the draft that year? I mean, it's, it's very, very uncommon for a, a football player to go to the draft after just two years of college. In fact, I don't even know if it's possible. But that would have been an opportunity for that to happen, surely. Anyway, he decided to go back to school for 2022, and he was limited to just three games due to a hamstring injury and his decision to not participate in the college playoff. In addition, Smith and Jigbat announced that he would pass on from his senior year of college and into the 2023 NFL draft. Yeah, I think it's I think it's about time, mate. I think it's about time. If you're putting up numbers like that in 2021, do you really want to wait until 2024 to get into into the the big leagues? Well, some would. But not this guy. Anyway, we continue. Not nearly as dynamic in terms of that top end speed that we saw with Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave. Built different, built more like a running back. 
and he is going to work in the middle of the field. I know he wants to play inside and outside. I think he's at his best working in the slot, and that's where he'll spend the majority of his time. Here he is in the gun. You see the tracer right down the line. Put someone on their back. He's just a really competitive, competitive player because there's going to be three or four. Look at him catch that ball and just put his head down, eh? Those first two, three steps after catching the ball. I mean, that, 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 those are the moments you're going to break tackles. You're going to make space and... Four times a game where you're going to have a run score through. TDs. Just get away from him, sidestep, and, and then make a play. And there's no such thing as a, a middle-of-the-road quarterback contract anymore. You're well, going definitely to fast the enough. Or, or teams are going to... This is Smith and Jigba here. Let's Solid see this, this is the route he's oh, comfortable look at with. A little whip routes. Look at that. Okay. It's, just, okay. it's pristine. I mean, it's just, How many times was he really doing beautiful. that with no type of throwing with Houston, remember? Smith with and the routes Jigba. he was throwing. No doubt. Nice grab. And as, as we've talked about, though, I think as teams looking for guys that can move around a little bit more, from the no, 10, really catches it at the 55, just inside. I mean, look, give some respect to the quarterback. Put some respect on the QB's name, I'm telling you. Aiden O'Connell, there he is. That, that's his name right there. Can you see it? Okay. Up from inside the pocket. Another one that was a jump. And then think of the number of guys who I will not name. Oh, that's just, it's just absolutely You're beautiful. Uh, I'm not talking about her. I'm talking about the, the, the pass and the catch. So before we leave, guys, I just need to do a little bit of research. I need to find what he ran in the combine. Now, I should... It's, it's not a name that I remember, but in saying that, I had to get through about 60 of them. So let's go 40-yard dash, Jackson Smith and Jigba. He... Re he didn't run the 40? What are you doing? Okay, he ran a 4.48 unofficial pro day time. He did not run the 40. Now, what, what, why? This is on March the 4th. Jackson Smith and Jigba says he's 100% but skipping the 40-yard dash because of his hamstring injury. He's fully healed, but he's not going to participate in the 40-yard dash. I'm ready to go out and attack and show my skill set. I was 100% as of two weeks ago. I'm taking things slowly to close the book on this nagging injury, which I feel like I have. Fair enough. Fair enough. But I just haven't had enough reps on the 40 yet, so pro day you'll see me run. And he ran a 4-4-8. Smith and Jigba is undergoing medical testing at the Combine with coaches and front office executives monitoring the results on the hamstring injury that limited him in 2022. Those results won't be made public. And with that finish the video so thanks once again for watching that was jackson smith and jigba i don't know if he's my pick um but obviously he put up those numbers in 2021 so he's um he's a bit of a shoe in for the for the combine at least um yeah it'll be interesting interesting to see and with all that being said that's enough from me and i'll see you in the next one peace guys thanks for watching and much love